I'm here today with you because I had a dramatic dream last night about the squid spirit. She looked like more like a gorilla woman. to you about the spirit of python that formation can attract demon spirits now we're gonna get into a video about the jezebel spirit you have identified there is an ancient spirit behind this tell me about that spirit yeah it is a world ruling class spirit. There are spiritual principalities, powers, and rulers of the darkness of this world. This is a world ruler. Welcome to Friday Night Frights, where we look at frightening films on Friday nights. Uh, tonight we're going to be watching the 1990 film uh, Ghost, starring Patrick Swayze, Demi Moore, Whoopi Goldberg, and Kat Kerr. I know what you're thinking. Ghost wasn't a horror movie. <laughs> to that I say, have you seen it? It was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, uh, get your popcorn ready, and uh, here we go. Whoa. And we're going to, hey, Hello. Kat, how are you? We can see you now. I'm doing great, thank you. Yeah, the setup we have is that Kat cannot see us, but we can see her. Just the way you at, I can hardly see. So uh, there's that, uh, the focus isn't... Here, she, she's here. In front of you, I'm right here. That perfect, but it's probably good enough. You know, I see you got your red, white, and blue and the stars and uh, all along with your pink hair. I love that. Yeah. I want to hear, if you would do this for the people, some have not ever heard you speak before and this will be passed around. Um, I wanted to ask you about your visits to heaven. Just a few minutes on um, how many times you've gone, if you can even quantify that sort of thing, and then how does it help you to know what God's saying right now today? Wow, she's lost count of all the times she's been to heaven. And here she is to tell us all about heaven. <laughs> I just, uh, I don't know, that doesn't sound, well, biblical to me. Most assuredly, I say to you, we speak what we know and testify what we have seen and you do not receive our witness. Now, please note, when Jesus says our, uh, our testimony, he, he's not talking about himself and Kat Kerr. He's talking about the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and also the Holy Scriptures. How does it help you to know what God's saying right now today? If I have told you earthly things and you do not believe, how will you believe if I tell you heavenly things? No one has ascended to heaven, but he who came down from heaven. Um, I wanted to ask you about your visits to heaven. That is, the Son of Man, who is in heaven. Sorry, Cat, but uh, we already have our messenger from heaven. That job is taken. Now, in um, 2 Corinthians 12, 2, Paul talks about a man being caught up into the third heaven. What did he mean by that? Well, we don't know, because the man wasn't allowed to talk about it. But Cat... Yeah, she's got permission to talk about it, uh, apparently. Well, I've been a believer from the age of four. She's been a believer from the age of four. I don't, I don't remember anything from the age of four. Uh, but Kat, she, she's special, obviously. She, she's in a class all by herself. In, in a class with Jesus alone. Uh, she and Jesus get to go to heaven and come back down and tell people about it. Nobody else, just them. And Kat gets to tell people things about heaven that Jesus didn't tell us. Now, think about that. 
I forget how old I am because I'm just going to claim timelessness, you know. There but you go. <laughs> I've been on this earth for, I'm sure it's over 60 years at least. But, you know, when you're connected to heaven, you feel like a child. We all know what the word says. You must be like a little child to enter into the kingdom of heaven. And At that time, the disciples came to Jesus. Who then is greatest in the kingdom of heaven? Then Jesus called a little child to him, set him in the midst of them. Assuredly, I say to you, unless you are converted and become as little children, you will by no means enter the kingdom of heaven. Therefore, whoever humbles himself as this little child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Whoever receives one little child like this in my name receives me. You must be weak and helpless. That is who gets into the kingdom of heaven. And the knowledge of this comes through conversion, Jesus says. Whoever is converted and becomes as a little child. See, unless the Holy Spirit intervenes, we will not see ourselves as weak and helpless. We will not see ourselves as little children. Jesus said the Holy Spirit convicts the world of sin. He exposes the weakness, frailty, helplessness, and unrighteousness of sinners. It's not saying that you have to be childish or act like a child or think like a child. In fact, Paul says, when I was a child, I thought like a child, but now I have put away um, childish things. It's not just a requirement. It's because heaven is so amazing and beautiful and adventurous and uh, filled with awe and wonder that you would almost have to have the mind of a child when you get it. That is not what Jesus said in the passage Kat is referencing. She she didn't read it, obviously. But, you know, she doesn't need to read the Bible. She gets to go on trips to heaven. The rest of us, you know, we just have to read the Bible. And that's, that's your future home, everyone who belongs to Jesus Christ. And just so you remember this or, you know, think about this. There were several people in the Bible, the Old Testament, the New Testament, that either saw God himself, he came down and visited with them, or they were caught up to heaven. So even though I'm taken to heaven, that's... No one has ascended to heaven, but he who came down from heaven, that is, the Son of Man, who is in heaven. It's not my plan. I don't even do that. God catches me up by his spirit and takes me on tours of heaven. No one has ascended to heaven, but he who came down from heaven, that is, the Son of Man, who is in heaven. And there's a reason for that. I, Like I said, I've known the Lord from age four. I've had a personal relationship with him, been a real intimate relationship with Jesus Christ, probably 20, 30 years, just really seeking him out to be in his presence. Just when I think you've said the stupidest thing ever, you keep talking. So wait a minute. Kat says she's known God since she was four but she's only known Jesus for 20 years. But Jesus said he came to reveal God to us. He said, no one on earth knows God. He says, I have come to earth to reveal God to those who are on the earth. That was his mission. And after he completed it, he returned to God and sent his spirit to the earth to convict the world of sin, the sin that prohibits them from knowing God, and reveal the truth of the gospel to them so that they might be converted into the children of God through faith in him who came to them to save them. That's Christian conversion. That's the Christian gospel. Uh, But not for Cat. Cat already knew God before. This is not biblical. It's not Christian. This is not Christian, the things Cat is saying here. It's a non-Christian conversion story. And it's not even conversion. Cat had no conversion. But see, Jesus said only those who are converted will enter the kingdom of heaven. And he said that in the text, Kat referred to us to prove the point that she's been God's go-to person since she was four. Now do you see why these false uh, non-NAR charismatic prophets hate the Bible so much? It's because it makes fools of them. And so also as a seer... I also didn't make that happen. From the time I was a little girl, I could see into the spirit realm. So I've always seen angels or demons, activities of hell, activities of heaven. So God was speaking to Cat without the spirit of Christ. Paul said anyone who does not have the spirit of Christ is none of his. He said that in Romans chapter 8. But I guess he didn't know about Cat Kerr. God essentially bypassed his son and went straight to Cat. Um, This is blasphemous. 
And in the spirit realm, you know, that's called the unseen realm, there's more than just creatures and angels. There's places that were built for heaven to use or other places that the enemy uses. He's stuck. That's what it is. He's in between worlds. It, all around us, that spirit realm is present, so I see it all the time. So you have to understand it's normal to me. This is between higher evolutionaries. To see and understand these things. Yeah, it's, it's, it's totally normal for her. But probably my first encounter happened when I was probably around 13. And uh, I was just walking and talking to God. Without Jesus. Remember, she didn't know Jesus until about 20 years ago. And he gave me an open vision of me, myself. And I was asking God, you know, I'm one of 15 kids, by the way. So if you're in a... <laughs> God came to Cat and gave her a vision of Cat, not his son. He wasn't concerned with Cat knowing his son. Cat didn't need to know his son, remember? The rest of us do, but not Cat, not Cat Kerr. She has Congress with God without Christ. And so God fully prepared me to be taken to heaven and see what he wants me to see. Then he takes me and brings me back to share it. And I've been doing that for over 20 years. And to write a book about it and sell it for $15. <laughs> they're, they're for sale for $15. You can know about heaven, the things God wants you to know about heaven, if you buy a cat's book for $15. Jesus didn't do that, you know. He came down from heaven to us, and he didn't say, all right, now, y'all need to pony up some cash to hear what God wants me to tell you. Now, Paul actually says this is the mark of a false prophet. Uh, a false prophet in uh, 2 Corinthians 11. He says that those who charge you money for the messages God gives them are false. 2 Corinthians um, chapter 11. Wow. He appeared to me many times, but in 1996, appeared to me and said that he and the Father were going to start taking me on tours of heaven so they could reveal heaven to earth in great detail. So Jesus and the Father are like, we've got to get this cat cur and start bringing her up to heaven so people will know what it's like up here. Because apparently when Jesus came down to earth from heaven, he forgot to do some stuff. And also, we'll tell Kat to sell that information to people and to collect money from them so that she'll be able to continue doing what we've ordained for her to do. Seriously, uh, that's what Kat teaches. Um, God gave her messages to give to us, and she's got to go ahead to sell them to us. Uh, check it out from her own uh, website, uh, where she sells the, the Guardian Zone monthly membership. From her website, become a member of the Guardian Zone by giving any amount monthly. So you've got to continue giving. You can give any amount, but you have to give it every month. Every month you have to pay for this Guardian Zone uh, membership. This is what you get. Step into the supernatural plans of God and become a member of the Guardian Zone. A way to support Kat in all she does. By giving on a regular basis, you're guarding the treasure God has placed in her. Member information for the Guardian Zone will be entered into a special database so that a relationship can be formed between Kat, her team, and the Guardians. You can have a relationship with Kat if you give her money. You will receive quarterly revelation reports from cats, along with specifically designed tokens of her appreciation and an annual collectible gift. So she gets these messages from God, and unless you pay her every month, you don't get those messages from God, you see. We look forward to communicating with all the guardians, sharing the joy of knowing that you are helping to reveal and create heaven on earth. Prepare to never be normal again as we work together to live heaven culture in the now time of God. And as a postscript, don't be surprised if you get a random phone call from Kat just to say hello. Kat Kerr is literally literally selling a way to heaven that is not Jesus. That, that's what she's doing. Uh, you get revelation reports from heaven if you send her money. But Peter said to him, Your money perish with you, because you thought that the gift of God could be purchased with money. You have neither part nor portion in this matter, for your heart is not right in the sight of God. Repent, therefore, of this your wickedness, and pray God if perhaps the thought of your heart may be forgiven you. For I see that you are poisoned by bitterness and bound by iniquity. I happen to be a detailed person, and the few companies I worked for, especially the law office, you know, or design, interior design, they loved that detail thing in me because nothing was left out, nothing was forgotten. I also have a photographic memory, which God uses that. She has a photographic memory too? <laughs> wow. 
is more powerful than I ever realized. And he appeals to interior designers too. This is like this is like one of those shows about interior design or something. Design this house or something like that. I don't know. It's not the gospel. It's not about Jesus. Cat's message appeals to interior designers. Jesus appeals to sinners. Really, that's what he said in Matthew 18. Sinners come to him for salvation. Interior designers come to Cat to find out what color curtains Jesus hangs in his living room. So I remember every time I've been to heaven and wow. I stopped counting after 1,000 times. Wow. No one has ascended to heaven, but he who came down from heaven, that is, the Son of Man, who is in heaven. I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm like this warehouse of revelation. Would you stop rambling? On heaven, but also the word of God. This is no time for Job. Revelation on the word of God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us. I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm like this warehouse of revelation. And we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father full of grace and truth John bore witness of him this was he of whom I said he who comes after me is preferred before me for he was before me and of his fullness we have all received I'm, I'm like this warehouse of revelation and grace for grace for the law was given through Moses but grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has seen God at any time. I'm, I'm like this warehouse of revelation. The only begotten Son who is in the bosom of the Father, He has declared Him. I'm, I'm like this warehouse of revelation and the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and even time itself. So I do know many things that are going to happen on the earth, and I've been taken over 100 years into the future, so if you're wow. sitting on your rapture rug... I know you believe in the future, but I believe in people. Get off of it and get your crown on so you can get ready to rule with Jesus Christ. These are things that Father has me tell people all the time. No one has seen God at any time. The only begotten Son who is in the bosom of the Father, He has declared Him. Wow. And so He just catches me up when He wants to. I'm here one second, and then my spirit, my spirit man is somewhere in heaven. No one has seen God at any time. The only begotten Son, who is in the bosom of the Father, He has declared Him. And when He's done showing me things, I can see four or five different places, and I hear the angels talking. Nobody sees me except the angelic or, or Father, Son, or Holy Spirit. They see me in heaven. The people don't see me. You can't see me. It's my time is now. now. Because um, the Father said, if I was seen by people in heaven, they'd do the same thing you would. No one has seen God at any time. The only begotten Son, who is in the bosom of the Father, He has declared Him. You would run up to me and say, please tell my family member I love them. Oh, you know, wow. back. And they would be doing that all the time. So people up there know I come to heaven, but they don't see me when I'm there. Wow. That way, that way I'm not chased down the streets of gold. <laughs> that makes sense. So what she's talking about is the sin of necromancy, communicating with the dead, and the Bible condemns it. I mean, uh, she sees people who are in heaven. Now, you can see what the next logical step is, right? If you want to know what your loved one in heaven is doing, you can communicate with Kat Kerr. Perhaps send her a, a monthly uh, membership and become a guardian, and maybe Kat will let you know about your grandfather in heaven. Yeah, he can't see her, but Kat can see him, and she can tell you, yeah, your granddaddy's having a good time up there, you know. But, you, you know, you've got to keep your monthly membership up. It's really delicious, and we know you'll enjoy it, too. At our refreshment stand, you'll find these pizza pies, freshly baked to your order. Make sure you get yours and enjoy it now. In the book of Revelation, even the highest order of angels can look on God. The angelic beings of Revelation 4 can't look on God. They hide their faces with their wings. The only ones who can look on God are God's image bearers, now so transformed. They see His face and live. 
for indeed, Yahweh Shammah. The Lord is there. And in case we still haven't got it, this closing vision includes the words, I did not see a temple in the city, because the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are its temple. Isn't that what God had told the Israelites by the banks of the Kebar River? I will be a sanctuary for you. The Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are its temple. The city does not need the sun or the moon to shine on it, for the glory of God gives it light, and the Lamb is its Lamb. Only faintly now I see him with a darkling veil between. But a better day is coming when his glory will be seen. Yahweh Shama. It's four minutes till showtime. Um, Kat Kerr is a necromancer. She lies about what's in the Bible. She sells God's messages to his people. But worst of all, she has exalted herself into the place of Christ. The Bible talks specifically about people like Kat Kerr in 1 John 4. Uh, he does not leave us defenseless against people like Kat Kerr, you see. His word is sufficient for us. He says, Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. By this you know the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is of God, and every spirit that does not confess that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is not of God. And this is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you have heard was coming and now is already in the world. You are of God, little children. You have overcome them. Because he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. They are of the world, therefore they speak as of the world, and the world hears them. Interior designers hear them, you see. We are of God. He who knows God hears us. He who is not of God does not hear us. He's talking about the apostles, the doctrine of the apostles. Uh, those who believe the doctrine of the apostles know God. By this we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error by the word of God, the doctrine, the Christian doctrine, doctrine given to us um, by the apostles. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God, and everyone who loves, loves is born of God and knows God. He who does not love does not know God, for God is love. In this the love of God was manifested toward us, that God has sent his only begotten Son into the world from heaven. God already sent a man uh, from heaven, that we might live through him. And this is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the propitiation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. Verse 12, no one has seen God at any time, except, of course, Kat Kerr. But if we love one another, God abides in us and his love has been perfected in us. We don't need to see God, beloved. By this we know that we abide in him and he in us because he has given us his spirit. Why don't we need to see God? Because we have his spirit. And we have seen and testified that the Father has sent the Son as Savior of the world. Whoever confesses that Jesus is the Son of God, God abides in him and he in God. And we have known and believed the love that God has for us. God is love, and who abides in love abides in God, and God in him. So we don't need uh, Cat Kerr. We don't really. Um, <clears throat> We already have a man in heaven for us, Christ Jesus, who intercedes for us. And he came to the earth from heaven to live a righteous life for us and to die a sinner's death as us, to be the propitiation for our sins, to buy us, to redeem us to the Father. And then he ascended to the Father to make intercession for us. He's there now. We don't need Cat Kerr making these trips back and forth to heaven. We have Christ Jesus, the Son of God in heaven, interceding for us. And he gave us apostles before he left. He taught them all of his teachings. He said, go teach the whole earth my words. And that's what they did. Uh, they gave us the words of Christ. We have the words of Christ who is in heaven. We have his spirit from heaven abiding inside of us. And that is all we need. This is what the apostles tell us. In fact, if you read um, uh, here in 1 John 4, uh, John is about John is the last living apostle and he's about to die. And so he's preparing the children of God um, how to live on this earth in the absence of the apostles. Christ is already in heaven. He left apostles to teach us. Now the apostles are going to heaven. What are we to do? 
John says, well, don't worry because, you know, God's going to send Cat Kerr to heaven. No, that's not what he says. He says, you have the words of the apostles, you have the doctrine, you have the scriptures, you have God's word, you have the spirit living inside of you. Um, 2 Timothy 4, Paul, another apostle, he's about to die. He's writing to young Timothy, who's a pastor, who's going to shepherd the flock of God. And he's about to leave. And Paul says, don't worry, Timothy, I'm leaving, but God's going to send Cat Kerr to heaven. No, uh, Paul says you have the word of God, you have the Holy Spirit living inside of you. Um, 2 Peter uh, 3, I think, uh, Peter also is about to die, and he's talking to the children of God, and he says, I'm about to die, but don't worry, um, God's going to send Cat Kerr to heaven, and she's going to come back and tell you everything you need to know. Uh, provided, of course, that you pay a monthly membership. No, Peter says, I'm leaving. You have the word of God. You have the Holy Spirit of God. Um, that's all we need. Um, we don't need Cat Kerr going to heaven. And we certainly don't need to be sending her money. Uh, Cat Kerr is a liar. She's a false teacher. She is antichrist. John said, these people are antichrist who try to uh, deceive you into thinking that you need something else. Uh, to exalt themselves in the place of Christ. Um, this this is just so blasphemous, I can't even, I mean, I feel dirty even talking about it. Um, uh, she's going to heaven, making trips to heaven for us. I don't think so. That's antichrist. It's blasphemous. Stay away from this woman. Uh, stay away from anyone who associates with her. Uh, just, and for... Uh, for goodness sake, don't send her money. Because the Bible says if you send her money, you are partaking in her evil deeds. You are partaking in her blasphemy. Um, so stay away from Cat Kerr. And I, I feel like I need to go take a shower now. <laughs>